Hey y'all, this is Cindy. I'm the Tireless Tangler. I want to welcome you back to the 100 Days of Zen Tangle Project 2021. Thank you very much for being with me today and each day on this journey. Our tangle for today is called Taiga. It is by friend and CZT in Barcelona, Spain, Tomas Padros. And uh, there are several forms of this tangle. I am going to do the wild form for you today. And uh, I did the grid form uh, for you back in 2019 on day 77. I bet you guys were impressed that I could do that. And that was the day in uh, 2019 that I crossed a thousand subscribers. That was exciting, well, at least for me. So today I'm going to be tangling on a regular uh, old white Zentangle tile. It's not regular or old, but it's white. And uh, uh, just a regular pencil and uh, my PN in black. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so for today, I'm going to start with my standard squared off border. Uh, Simba is in the house. He is hoping everybody is having a good day. Hi to Argo and Amigo and Kashmir and Caspian and Chip. And I know I'm forgetting something, Wilson. We shouldn't forget Wilson. All right, so for a sort of a string today, what I'm going to do is uh, down, thank you, Sim, down in one corner, I'm going to just draw a semicircle or a part of a circle. I'm just going to sort of circle off the corner like this, okay? And then I'm going to put some uh, lines coming out. This one's going to point at the corner, sort of like sun rays. I'm going to make this one shorter. Now, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. <laughs> We're going to try it. Now, you can draw the, you can ink these in. That's not a problem. Whatever you want to do, Simba. Uh, I'm a little scatterbrained today, so hopefully this is all going to turn out all right. So uh, I'm going to have some fun over here in this section before I get to Taiga. I hope that's all right with you guys. I'm going to draw in some little uh, dividers here. And each divider, each little divider or semicircle, I'm going to Ara. And Erica, it's going to be a tight, nice, little narrow kind of an aura. And no, I'm not going to put Shattuck in here, although I very well could. Uh, okay, now... Um, uh, I'm going to fill these with tangles, but I'm going to start with Taiga since that's sort of what I have promised you guys. So I'm going to ink this middle line. And I left them short for a reason. Uh, I intend for this to fill up most of this space. But the problem I kept having when I was practicing uh, this format was that uh, the lines weren't matching where I needed them to be. So I decided to start low with the understanding that I can extend these as high as I need for them to be. But this is where I want uh, to start watching for uh, the joining up. So you'll see what I mean. So what we're going to do, and let me check. Yeah. What we're going to do, I just had to check my example. Uh, we're going to uh, put in some of these little uh, curved lines with loops. Something like this. Okay? Just these little cute little loops. Nothing intimidating. Okay, 
Now I'm going to mirror this on the other side and that's going to be the rule all the way around. Uh, you're always going to be mirroring what you're doing next to yourself. Okay, that didn't make any sense, but you guys know what I mean. In the next section, you want to mirror what you've done in the last one. So approximately the same height, and I have found that it doesn't matter uh, on, the, um, on the width of these, it's still gonna work. Okay, so these are a little off kilter, but it, it'll be fine, I hope, it'll be fine. Okay, so um, now I'm going to keep doing this. Okay, and over here. And you might find this easier to draw upside down um, so that you can see uh, where the pin strokes are uh, that you need to match. At least that helps me. Well, I got that one too big, but that's okay. All right. Okay, and so this will go like so. All right, so now what I need to do is figure out how to top these off, okay? And uh, from looking at this, look at my example. Okay, so I'm going to draw in this string line and extend it up a little bit. And this is going to be the point that I hook this up to right here, okay? And we're going to do the same thing over here. Okay? Now it doesn't have to be perfect but this is what we want. And so I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing on this one. All right, and that's going to go and this is going to come over. Okay, and there we have that. Uh, now, here, and here, let's look and see. The way that we finish off the middle, and I'm going to extend this up a little bit so that this is slightly taller than these two, because that's the way I want it, not because it needs to be. And this is going to come about halfway. All right, not so bad, right? Okay, and on these over here, these are gonna extend up as well, higher. The, the tops always make me go, wait a minute, <laughs> but it's okay. They always do that to me. So this will go up here. And this will go out here. And this will come right here. All right, so it's not too much to look at yet, but you're gonna see the magic is coming. And with Zentangle, there's almost um, always a magic moment. Okay. Did I want to do that? Well, it's too late now. <laughs> and we're just, I probably should have added, but that's okay. 
I'm not going to worry about it. It's going to be fine. All right. Now, the magic comes now. Now it's going to happen. So at, at each place where we have these little loops, we're going to make a little cap. I think that's what I called it back on day 77 two years ago. I can't believe I've made this three years in a row. Of course, I'm not done yet, am I? And we're gonna put this little cap on each side. And what we are wanting is for these angles to sort of match up, to have, have in your head an imaginary arc and, and those should match up, if that makes sense. And same here, okay? And that's how you know uh, how to do that, okay? So, and you can always It's like you have an oval here. Well, it's determined to be kind of messy. Let's not do that jerk thing. That's just not right. So about here. Okay, and about here. Turn your tile. I know that's irritating uh, when you're watching, but turn your tile. It's pre uh, pretty okay. And so this one. Looking good. Let's continue. Sorry about the motorcycles, but it's Sunday afternoon and it's gorgeous outside. Cool and sunny and just beautiful. We're probably warm now. But it's a beautiful day, so everybody's out. I hope everyone will use caution and remember COVID isn't gone just because a million people have vaccines in their arms. And I would remind people that just because you have been vaccinated does not mean you cannot contract and carry and contagiously infect others around you. So use caution when you're outside and wear your mask, whether you've been vaccinated or not. Just saying. I believe in a science-based approach to this. <laughs> All right. And sometimes these little black caps are going to be large. Sometimes they're not going to need to be that large. Just make sure that you've got a nice arc going on. Maybe not that nice, but uh, you know what I mean. Okay, and one last section here. I knew we'd get there sometime to the mess. All right. 
a little bit more. And then the decorating ensues. And you know how I feel about the decorating. Maybe our shirt should say decorating because I can. Or embellishing. We could we could make it sound a little bit more uh, grown up. <laughs> but we know what it is. Thank you for sharing with us, River. How are we doing today, little Missy? Say we're still ornery. All right, calm down, Cindy. Are you going to be back in here with a jelly roll? Okay. So now I want to do some embellishing, and I think I'm going to switch to a zero one in black, even though I didn't announce that at the beginning. Shame on me. So uh, the next thing that Tomas likes to do to sort of, and this is all uh, optional, this is the basic taiga pattern. So what Tomas likes to do for an embellishment on here is to put these little, um, these little blacked in sort of triangular shapes. And I started trying to draw these from, from the top down, and that did not work well for me. And so I've started drawing them from the bottom up, if you will. So like this is a much better result for me. Then if I draw the top and then work my way down. So, entirely up to you. They don't need to be perfect, so calm down. It is going to be fine. I had a lot of fun with this, um, sort of figuring out what I could do. But if you're, if you're uh, sort of getting frustrated, you might try going back to my 2019. I'll try to put a card up in the corner for you so that you can find it. Uh, that video works off of a grid, and uh, you might find that a little bit more comforting than doing it in this way, which is much more free form. Yep, Simba's in the house. He thinks it's cool, Amigo is so smart. Sometimes he just likes to bark. I wish he would take my cue and be quiet, but you know, mm -mm. But we are all going to go to obedience training soon, as soon as mommy can afford it. As soon as we get River taken care of, so she's not so psycho. I don't think she means to be. Well, she might. She's female, so you just never know how much crazy's in us. Y'all know it's true. <laughs> Y'all ladies know it's true. I think on this one, all I would see would be the top. I'm just going to put the top. Hmm. I'm going to do that. 
didn't really think this through very well, but I'm gonna do that. And that's fine. And these are all right, they're off camera. <laughs> and those are fine too. I'm, I'm not messing with them, just saying. Uh, okay, let's put these over here. In my weird misshapen one. Well, we're just gonna act like he's normal like everybody else and love him anyway. You notice he's male, right? I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I'm gonna put another one right here and pretend we finished that off. All right, so now comes the aura-ing. I love the aura-ing in this because it's just, and it's Huggins aura-ing. It's just like we've been practicing. So everywhere you start at the little caps and you follow their lines and you have some fun and you turn your tile and you take your time That whole taking your time thing is big. Take your time, Cindy. All right. Okay. And now we're just dressing it up. If you come to another line and you're too close or whatever, just pick your pen up, draw behind. Don't worry about anything. A lot of you like the no Zentangle Police thing. There are no Zentangle Police. Nobody's coming to your house to see what you did on that tile. <laughs> that would be cool though, wouldn't it? Hello, Miss Pelly. We've had a report that you drew your string incorrectly this morning. I'd like to see your string and any, and any paperwork you have to go with that. Where's your license? I wanna see your license to practice Zentangle. <laughs> okay, we probably wouldn't do that, but it would be fun. All right, I forgot one over here, didn't I? Terry, was that you yelling at me? I know you did. I'm not trying to embarrass you or call you out in public, but... Okay, maybe we should start here. This is not a good R, Cindy. But it's, an, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to panic. If my auras are wiggly, I'm not going to panic. You know what I'm understanding more and more is that worry about finishing. Don't worry about what's coming out, what's happening, where your pen is going, what mistakes you've made. Remember, if it's too bad, we have our old friend, Bronx Cheer. He is a good friend. Well, I have got some interesting auras going on, but that's all right. That is okay. They're not 
perfect and that's okay. Perfection is much overrated, particularly by the media. There is beauty in the old and the wrinkled. In the antique. The scarred, the gouged. Those are all beautiful things. All right. So I think there's only one other embellishment that I want to add that is like something that Tomas does, and he uh, puts a little point coming out here on the sides. Sort of matches this. And so if you don't have much room, just make it small. Do that a little bit more. You can be a little bit more generous. It was so freaky to get up this morning and find the Zentangle Project pack with Shattuck. That was to totally unplanned on my part. My video was already uploaded and scheduled to, to go when that dropped in my, in my email. And uh, I went, well, that's awesome. <laughs> that's just awesome. But it's a very different Shattuck. So um, both of them are very different from each other. So that's okay. And after today, a lot of people will be looking at Shattuck differently, I think. Now, you know, if, if I had, uh, if I had done that project back, my string, uh, my string would have been in pencil or my blob would have been in pencil to begin with. And then I would have hooked it up later. But then that's me. And I can appreciate the, the uh, attitude that uh, all of that disappears once the shading is done, once the uh, finishing touches are on, because that's, of course, something that we talk about here all the time. I think Julie did a great job. She is a sweetheart. And congratulations to Julie on the birth of her little boy. That's pretty cool. I'm talking about Ju Julie Willen that uh, that uh, did the Project Pack video today. Uh, Project Pack 13, I think, from Zentangle. And she did a version of Aquafleur um, with, uh, and filled the, the, um, ribbons with Shattuck. So I thought it was funny that I had done Shattuck, um, today as well, or yesterday, whenever. Oops. Okay. So, uh, you will notice that I have wiped across a couple of these inked spots and I'm going to have to be more careful because they will, they will, uh, rub a little bit until they're dry. Okay, so while that's uh, curing up there, I'm going to come down here on the bottom and play around and see what kind of fun I can have. What kind of fun can I have? Well, I'd love to put orbs here on this top thing, but I'm wondering if that's uh, too wide to mess with orbs. I mean, I mean, they'd be nice and large and mm, I could do that. Gonna do them large like this. Give yourself room. Take your time. Try not to overshoot the edges.
Yeah. We can get these inked without any trouble, then I will call this a very good job. You guys should go uh, here on YouTube and check out Zenlinia, uh, my friend Anika Gabrovic from Croatia. And uh, she was in my CZT class, CZT32. And uh, she's got her uh, photo album of all of her uh, art lately in it for the last year or so. And you should go take a, take a look at that. It's a short video um, where she talks about her classes and some of the things that she's done. And they're very inspirational. I love, I love enjoying uh, Annika's art. Um, it is always inspirational. I loved writing about her when I was still blogging. And uh, she and I uh, had a very friendly, warm relationship. And then uh, then shortly thereafter, after her blog post was, was uh, up, uh, we both ended up at CZT32. So that was pretty awesome to get to meet somebody I'd written about in person. She is a lovely lady. She's also a mom. Okay, so that's pretty cool, yeah. Um, let's see what else. Well, I'm kind of tempted to put Shattuck in here because I could divide this easily. Why don't we? Mm, should Cindy try straight? Let's completely leave our comfort zone at home. All right, here we go. This is the Tangle Pattern Shattuck, in case you missed yesterday's video. Very simple, uh, original Tangle from Zentangle. It's been, I think Maria wrote that she was inspired by something she saw on a kimono in Japan. She and Rick have traveled extensively, and uh, they love to visit art museums and uh, things like that, temples and mosques and uh, different uh, things like that, and they're always, of course, looking uh, for patterns everywhere. Tiemba. He's having squirrel dream. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he will uh, save the squirrel for later. Well, nothing to be done about that, is there? All right. Oh, and Julie did what I did by emphasizing redrawing her outer line, too. So it wasn't just me. Apparently that's a thing. Is that right about? I don't know. I 
one here. Okay, so I like that well enough. Uh, what to do down here? Um, I think I'm going to put some radiating lines and then maybe maybe stripe and sparkle. I'm not sure. Let me put these radiating lines in and then decide. I'm going to try it, see how it looks. Okay. And then... So something like that. I really need another one here, don't I? Mm, yeah, we're gonna have to live with that. Okay, so uh, now I'm gonna probably leave this up here as negative space, although I'm seriously thinking about inking it. One of Tomas's designs had uh, sort of a night sky look where it was inked with just little dots of stars and it just made me think of trees looking up at the sky so I'm very tempted to to do that here um, which I think would be really cool and effective so uh, let's do shading before I make any rash decisions about anything let me check our time we're still doing good so uh, my my uh, F pencil has flown the coop temporarily so I'm using the kid's pencil from Christmas a couple of years back. All the spots where we overlap, yes? I'm gonna try to avoid getting it on the, the ink, but chances are probably not good that that's gonna work. Oops, I forgot my little point there, didn't I? Now, this is a lot of graphite, and uh, I'm going to have to calm down with it because I'm going to have a mess. Remember, the softer your pencil is, the softer the, the uh, graphite, the core is, uh, the, more, um, uh, the more graphite you're going to be laying down, and the more graphite will spread when you, when you blend. And so you really want to be careful. And um, you also might want to pay attention to where your hand is in relation to the art as you work. Uh, if you're right-handed, you might want to start in your left corner and work down. Now, of course, if you're turning your tile the way you the way uh, that you should, um, or uh, might want to choose to, I don't want to tell anybody what to do. That's not what this is. Um, but uh, if you're constantly turning your tile, then hopefully your hand isn't scrubbing across. And that's something that we really want to avoid, especially if you're using a regular pencil or a Zentangle pencil, which is a 2B or, or uh, that's also the same as an HB pencil. And that's a fair amount of graphite in that pencil and this pencil. So um, just a uh, word to the wise, be cautious. Don't scrub real hard because you'll you'll have a lot of color. Oh, I missed a couple, didn't I? I hear you guys yelling at me. Calm down. I'll get it. I'll get it. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are awesome. Had two more Munkers. Good for you guys. Good for you. That's probably a U.S. thing, so nobody outside this country knows what I'm talking about, but it's fine. And right here. And then over here, I'm really want to go, going to want to go lightly here. Hardly any pressure on my pencil at all. Because again, I'm me. My phone keeps ringing. I don't know what is so freaking important on Saturday afternoon that they gotta bother me, but yeah. What I'm doing is important too. Just because it's pretty doesn't mean it's not important. Everybody needs to understand that. It's pretty important. There you go. All right, and I think on this, I'll just put a tiny bit down here on the bottom between. And right up at the top edge and leave the middle blank. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna bother the orbs yet. I'm gonna save those for last. So let's get to blending. Don't scrub over that, that ink very hard, just very gently. Holy cow. Yeah, that's a lot of graphite. <laughs> a whole lot. Is it me or does that look pink? I just put chalk pastel on here, probably so. Should be graphite y, not chalk pastel y. Eh, we'll be fine. All right. Let's get to the, to the thing, to the taiga. I always, when I do his patterns, I always just sit in awe of, of the brain that came up with such a cool thing. Well, I missed spots everywhere, didn't I? Y'all should have been yelling louder. Marilyn, I know, it, I know you were yelling. Good girl. Keep yelling at me. Nancy Pierce, I, I'm trying to think about what you said about the memberships. Um, and for those of you who missed it before, I'm thinking of ending and restarting our my membership program because I have been, well, uh, have not been meeting my part of that obligation, uh, part of what I promise for uh, people supporting me is to um, have extra videos that I release for them every month. And um, it just, during the 100 Days Project, and even when, especially when I was on the break, um, it it's just really hard uh, to get extra content up. And um, so 
to be fair to everyone, what I need to do is uh, stop the membership program, which automatically uh, stops everybody's membership is basically, I think, what Nancy was frustrated about. And then uh, give you the opportunity to restart uh, your membership with whatever new perks I um, th can think of that I can actually sustain this time. And that's that's been the problem is is the sustainability for me has not been what I thought I could handle. And of course, when when I'm in the hundred days project, I'm uh, sort of on a on an adrenaline high the whole time for the, for the whole three months that that we're doing it. And um, it's 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 easy to think that I can that I can accomplish things that that are in actuality much more difficult than I thought. Uh, so the last shading step I'm going to take with Tyga is to put some um, on one side, and of course I usually choose the left to shade on. And I'm really trying to go easy on the graphite here, but it's going to be overwhelming. And we're just going to put a shadow on one side of this. And what that does is it sort of gives it a folded look. And I will be bringing my Mono Zero in here and cleaning a bunch of this stuff up. This, this is why I use an F pencil. I seem to be incapable of not using too much. Let's see how we did this time. So that's, once again, a lot of graphite, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, what am I doing? Yeah. And I love the sort of folded look this gets. It reminds me of, of paper doll patterns. And I don't know why that is, but it really does. Any of you guys ever play with the, those paper dolls, the, the things where you uh, cut them out or, or had the little uh, pull apart things that you, that you made into, you could have a little village, you know, you could have the mom and the dad and the whole bit. It was like having a doll, but you could fold it up in your pocket. And those, a lot of times, the ones that you make, like, uh, or snow, those paper snowflakes we used to cut as kids. This reminds me of that, too. Like the paper angels and things, or the, yeah, the snowflakes. Once again, careful scrubbing over these inked spots. Now, that's... A whole lot more graphite than I was hoping for. Um, let me see if I can put my hands on my Mono Zero real quickly. That may not be a thing. No. Oh, there it is. Mm, there it is. Okay. All right, so let's do some quick cleanup on this. I am going to try to not scrub my hand across this like I'm used to doing. The eraser shavings uh, little things make me nuts. And so I'm always swiping them away, which is a very bad habit, especially uh, when you're dealing with something with so much graphite on it. I'm working on this issue. <laughs> And of course, if you don't get rid of them in a timely fashion and scrub over them, uh, then you can have um, you can have 
pencil marks ground into the tooth by your eraser if you're not careful, so. This kind of thing is, again, layers. And I'm not intending to pick everything up. I will come back through here with my tortillon and re-blend this so it's not got a sharp line anywhere. I'm just going to bring some of the light back on this side where I shaded. That is a personal choice on my part. You may do as you wish. Okay, now where's my paintbrush? Okay, I don't have it. See, the reason I don't do that is because it doesn't work. All right, where's my tortillon? Actually, the paintbrush does. Just a dry paintbrush that's soft works fairly well for just, um, or a makeup, old makeup brush or something like that works really well for just brushing the little thingies aside. Hmm. Not a big fan of that 2B pencil. I keep it around for the eraser, not for the, not for the lead, but it is nice to have. If I can't find the other ones, they're here. It's just, yeah. They're hiding in plain sight. Don't make fun of me. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can lift some of this color out here. Why well, it's important to start with a clean tortillon, Cindy. There we go. All right. There. Okay, so there will be more pencil work, I'm sure, and erasing. <laughs> I'm sure. We got a lot of graphite on this. Uh, but... Um, this is basically it. Besides um, doing the shading on the orbs, and I'm going to wait until I can find my F pencil for that. Otherwise, I'm going to be in some serious trouble. But this is my wild version of Tyga. So I'm going to go see how much of this was off frame. <laughs> and uh, if you hear shrieking and crying coming from Oklahoma, you'll know what happened. And I'll be recording this again. All right, guys, thank you so much for being with me. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for day 59. Wow. See you then.